Hi, you guys. Thank you so, so much for joining the Pathfinder Show. So we love to have you guys here. You guys know that we love to have you guys here. So today you get to see what we, me and my children are doing today. You know, every day is a journey with the Lord. So today we are fired up. We are pumped up to be children of God, children of Christ, okay? Laboring for the kingdom of God. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into it, you guys. And I will see you all in the next clip. Bye. So today, you guys, we are actually utilizing a um, what you call a study room. So we have the study room. I prepared the children's lunch, as you can see, and they are eating. Um, I recorded what they are eating um, previously, so I will probably attach a clip to that. Basically, what we did today was we had... Um, I made them sandwiches with strawberries um, and I will kind of go through and tell you guys what ingredients I used and what we incorporated today so that you guys can take down the recipes, make it for your children and things like that. Um, so yes, you guys, let me see if I can flip this over. Oh, it won't let me flip it over. But I will go ahead and get into what they ate and then we will get on to the next session. So we try a new um, uh, mayonnaise. This is an avocado oil mayonnaise. I chose this mayonnaise because it has no sugar. When you go and you shop for mayonnaise, read the ingredients. This says avocado oil, um, cage-free eggs, water, distilled vinegar, salt, lime juice, citric acid, um, and lime. So when you go to the store, check for sugar because why does sugar need to be in mayo? It does not. So get you the mayo that has no sugar. And this is avocado oil mayo. So that's what we use for that. And then you guys, we incorporated some fresh green spinach. We always want to include our veggies and everything that we eat. We then topped it off with some dill pickles, some sandwich pickles. Check the ingredients on the pickles. Sometimes they like to sprinkle sugar in the pickles. Why do we need sugar in our pickles? Can someone please answer that for me? For our delicious fruit, we had strawberries. Um, we love strawberries. We eat berries and strawberries, you guys. So I added some strawberries to their meal for a healthy, nutritious fruit. And then you guys, we're doing a three in one here. So this bread right here, if y'all can see this bread right here, it's keto bread. It has no sugar. Do y'all see that? Zero grams of sugar. Check your ingredients on your bread because they put sugar in the bread. Why does sugar need to be in the bread? So if you want to go for a healthier option, check the bread. And we had cucumbers, hard boiled eggs, and we kind of summon it up right here. So you guys, I am a explorer mom, which means we travel, we be on the move. I do things a totally different way from everybody else. This is a bag of chicken salad, okay? I made it my own way, my own recipe. So basically what is in this is chicken, cucumbers, eggs, um, mayo, and I believe that may be it. Um, I didn't really put nothing else in it, okay? So that's what's in the bag. Um, on their sandwiches, on their actual sandwiches, they have the chicken salad with the eggs and the mayo. They have spinach. What did I get? You get? You get? You get? Hi, you guys. So as I was saying, today, we're using a study room. And this is such such a luxury to be using a study room. Okay, so let me just go into being real and raw and authentic with y'all. 
So sometimes when I'm doing content and I'm doing stuff, I desire for my content to be like top notch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like yesterday, I had made some banging content, y'all. Like that content was the truth. My kids was acting right. You know, I had it all. It was just flowing, okay? It was just flowing. But honestly, some days we're going to have days where things is not just flowing like, you know, how we would want it to. We're going to have days where we are not feeling the greatest, where we don't feel like doing it. It's going to be days when our kids are acting up and acting crazy and all kinds of stuff. Like, I'm trying to preach the message and teach the word and it's just like I was having some difficulties or some complications. So with that being said, trying to be perfect, I I be wanting things to just, I'm not going to say it's not going to never work because we can always strive to do better and be better and be more and do more and things like that. But I just want it, us to get out of our minds of just thinking that every day is going to be perfect or every day is going to be you flowing how we want it to flow because life is always happening. Life is continuously happening. I just want to give you guys some scriptures. So Jesus like really been talking to me. In my personal life, I have been so, so busy, y'all. Like so busy being a mom, you know, working, doing all the things that I do, traveling, exploring. I have been so busy and, and Jesus just been really placing on my heart and I know that is probably not just for me, but it's probably for other people as well about rest, okay? We can get so worked up in the process of thinking that we got to do all these different tasks. And that may be the case. You may be a mom. You may have to work. You may be a wife. You may have to do all these different things. But Jesus has been placing on my heart resting. And we can only find true rest in the Lord, okay? We can only find rest in Him. He gives us rest. He gives our soul rest. When we are weary, when we're tired of working, when it seems like everything is falling apart, when we're stressed out, when we're burdened down by just feeling like we're carrying heavy burdens, when we don't know what to do or which way to go, we can always find rest in Jesus. And this rest that he give, the world don't give it. The, pe the, the peace that the Lord gives, the world does not give it, okay? You are not going to find the rest or the peace that Jesus gives nowhere else are we going to find it. Nowhere else. But when you go to Jesus and you submit to him and you learn to surrender to him and you learn to, you know, just keep on and keep on. Jesus, I'm seeking you, praying to him. Lord, can you give me rest? Lord, can you help me get through my day? Lord, can you help me get, uh, can you help me deal with my children? Lord, can you give me new ideas? Can you, can you help me, God, because I'm tired? You know what I'm saying? Can you help me because I can't figure this all out on my own? Can you help me because I admit that I do not have all the answers? Jesus, can you help me? Can you give my soul rest? Because I've been working. I've been doing this. I've been being a parent. I've been, you know, striving to become better, striving to do right. Can you help me, Jesus? And it says here in Matthew verse 11, 25, at the time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them to babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, nor does anyone know the Father except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, 
and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Okay, so if you working hard, if you're tired, if you've been laboring, if you have a lot of responsibility, if whatever the case may be, Jesus is calling us to come to him. He says for us to come to him. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He's, he, he doesn't lie. He will give us rest if we come to him. So go to the Lord in prayer. Like we can pray right now, y'all. If y'all want to pray, if y'all really want to get into it, Jesus, we come before you today. We ask and pray that you will give us rest. The people who are watching my content and watching this content, watching this video, they're watching it because most likely they need rest. They need answers. They need to know what it is that they need to do next. What are the next steps that they take? What are the next moves that we make, Father? We come at, we're coming to you because we want to know, because we want rest, Father. We need rest. We want peace, true peace, true rest for our souls, true rest for our hearts and our souls. So, Father, we just come before you today and ask and pray that you would show us what true rest is, that you would teach us how to actually rest in you and not seek all these other things and think that we can find rest or contentment in all these other things but us to find rest and contentment in you god so we just pray and ask and we declare matthew verse eleven twenty eight 28 over our lives that if we come to jesus if we pray to him and we come to him when we're tired, when we're restless, when we feel like we don't know what else to do, we declare and decree over our lives that Jesus will give us rest because it says it here in Matthew 11 verse 28. So Father, we just come before you today to thank you, to praise you, to worship you, you guys. I literally was struggling to get up on this video because it, it was just like oh you know what was breaking loose but this, the holy spirit has continued to flow jesus has continued to show up and with me being real and true and authentic with you guys the lord i feel like the lord has acknowledged it and showed up even more so you guys, we just want to go to the Lord with everything, acknowledge him in everything. If you are a mom, if you are a parent, whatever the case may be, know that you can go to Jesus and that he will help you. If you feel like you don't have no help out here, if you feel like whatever you feel like, okay, whatever, however you feel, know that you have someone that you can go to who is willing to receive you and, and, and give you, provide you with everything that you could ever think of or imagine. So we just thank and praise the Lord for this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Y'all, I'm going to throw this content together like, 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 hey, this is what it is. This is how my day was. I wish I could have got it while the kids was acting up and acting all types of crazy. And I needed to calm down and, you know, probably redirect myself. Or Jesus show up for us, you guys. So I hope you all receive this message i hope the holy spirit really ministered to you guys and touched you guys and i will be back as the lord leads me bye